Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE chemistry lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 2.1, elements, compounds and mixtures. As always, we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll learn absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. Now, I'll only be posting around half the topics in the syllabus here on YouTube, but if you want access to the entire syllabus, you can find a link to my Patreon channel in the description. Also, if you like the slides I use in my videos, which can be used as a teaching resource source or revision guide, they will eventually be available to download soon after I've finished producing all the videos. Once done, I'll put a link to those in the description as well. Okay, so there's only one learning objective today, and that is to describe the differences between elements, compounds, and mixtures. So elements are the simplest forms of matter. They are pure substances made of only one type of atom. For example, gold is an element as it's made of only gold atoms. The atom, which we'll cover in more detail in chapter two, is the smallest indivisible unit of an element. Because elements are only made of a single type of atom, they cannot be decomposed into anything simpler by chemical methods. They are the simplest forms of matter, the base substances from which all other substances are made. For example, oxygen and hydrogen are both elements that chemically combine to form water. The water can be broken down by chemical methods into hydrogen and oxygen, but hydrogen and oxygen cannot be further decomposed. Elements are arranged in rows and columns in the periodic table and are represented by chemical symbols like Cu for copper and N for nitrogen. There are 118 known elements, each of which has its own unique properties. Now, before we move on to compounds, I just want to quickly introduce the term molecule. So a molecule is a group of atoms covalently bonded together. And don't worry, we'll cover covalent bonding in topic 2.5. Molecules can be made of atoms of the same elements, and these are referred to as homoatomic molecules, or different elements, and these are called compounds. So compounds are substances formed by the chemical combination of two or more elements in fixed proportions. They have their own unique properties that are different from the elements that comprise them. Compounds cannot be separated physically, but can be broken down into elements by chemical methods. Compounds are represented by chemical formulas like NaCl for sodium chloride and H2O for water. A water molecule is made of two hydrogen atoms covalently bonded to a single oxygen atom. Finally, mixtures contain two or more elements and or compounds in varying proportions. Mixtures do not have a chemical formula. The components in a mixture keep their individual properties and can be separated by physical methods like distillation and evaporation because they're not chemically bonded. For example, salt water is a mixture made of the components sodium chloride and water. We know it's a mixture because sodium chloride, the salt, can be physically separated from water by evaporation. Okay, a quick summary. So elements are substances that cannot be divided into simpler substances by chemical reactions. Compounds are molecules formed when two or more different elements chemically combine. And mixtures contain two or more elements or compounds that are not chemically bonded together. Well done. You've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 2.1, elements, compounds and mixtures. If you benefited from this video, remember to subscribe to the channel and check out my Patreon where I'll be uploading the entire chemistry syllabus. Join me there for our next lesson on topic 2.2, atomic structure and the periodic table.